I'd like to highlight some additional features of this course as well. This is the first course of its kind in America that looks at global business as it relates to the community of global stakeholders. The stakeholders today include communities, governments, stock and bond holders, employees, customers, suppliers, and others. One of the principal objectives of this course is for you to determine whether a more ethically sustainable and socially responsible corporate enterprise over the long term can generate greater value for its stakeholders, have longer term viability than enterprises which do not practice this ethic. We will also learn to measure and quantify these qualities. Another objective of this course is to enable you to be practice ready as you develop your careers and advance your careers as the next generation of legal and business professionals so you can advance excellent corporate behavior and allow corporate enterprise to become an even more powerful and positive force for our global society. So let's take a little deeper dive into the subject. The reality is this world is not your parents world from a corporate perspective. It is not the same world that it was even 50 years ago from a corporate perspective. And to many, it is not what it seems to be. There are three critical facts that I want you to understand and, and perhaps even memorize, which become one of the foundational bases of this course. These are essential to our understanding of the modern corporate entity. The first is that 51 of the top economies of the world are multinational corporations, not countries. Let me say that again. 51 of the top 100 economies of the world are multinational companies, not countries. And the top 2,000 publicly traded companies in the world generate over half the gross domestic product of the world. That is significant. And third, 84% of the value of a corporation lies hidden in its intangibles. These are its non-financial assets. And I'm going to explain a little later and in detail what these hidden assets are. And you might also consider that the energy generated by Google, that is the electricity that Google uses to power all their servers, consumes more electricity than the country of Sweden. The consequence, which we clearly need to understand, the consequence of failure of one of these corporate entities can have tremendous consequences for the stakeholder community. These are the employees, whether they're owned or outsourced down the supply chain, the community, which through loss of taxation could lose its health, education, and safety programs, customers, there can be bankruptcies of vendors and suppliers, losses by creditors and debtors and others. So let's take a quick review of the 14 or 15 session. In session one, we're going to review the modern corporate structure. We're going to discuss the myth of shareholder ownership and learn about the power that pension plan managers have over corporate America today. And this is in the trillions of dollars. In session two, we will discuss traditional and new definitions of fiduciary responsibility and risk management within the corporate enterprise or if you're looking in as an outside advisor. In session three, we'll look at the Securities Acts of 33 and 34, going to discuss investor protection and discuss whether these foundational rules are actually even relevant today within the modern corporate structure. In session four, we're going to look at the financial side of the corporation from gap to non-gap reporting and some common sense principles of governance as they apply. In session five, we will introduce you to intangible risks, those hidden assets, intangible assets that make up 84% of the value of the, of the enterprise. We will approach this from a risk management, compliance, and fiduciary perspective. You will learn how to identify measure and quantify non-financial risk in order to protect or mitigate damage of the corporation. This will also include a discussion of social media risk and cybersecurity risk. In session six, we will present the six capitals of a corporate enterprise. We will discuss how traditional economic theory and economic capitalism misses out on these significant contributors to value creation within the corporate entity. In session seven, 
We'll discuss in depth the myth of board and shareholder power and discuss how the lack of ownership rights by shareholder investors has had a profound effect on executive behavior, executive compensation, and compensation-based stock incentives for both board and senior executives. In sessions 8 through 12, we'll look at the six capitals from the perspective of your new fiduciary and risk management responsibilities and how to put this knowledge as corporate officers, executives, and outside advisors in practice. Session 13, we're going to look at fiduciary and risk management responsibilities, applying to them to case studies of actual corporations that have experienced both financial and non-financial meltdowns and how they could have been prevented after taking our course. In session 14 and 15, we're going to wrap up our discussions. Throughout this, we're gonna have readings and case studies and have some role playing to play as uh, pretending that some of us are the, the senior corporate executives and how it is we determine whether we want to maximize our stock compensation over the long or minimize the value of shareholders or whether in fact we really care. Our journey will take us to perspectives not generally discussed in the boardroom and C-suite of executives or by their in-house and outside advisors. But the paradigm shift is happening and value creation will go to the enterprise that prepares for the inherent risks that can create or destroy corporate value and those who learn to manage them wisely. As Thomas Friedman said, practicing an ethic of sustainability produces institutions that are too good to fail and too strong to fail, not too big to fail. And Thomas Friedman said that in Hot, Flat, and Crowded 2.0. So let's begin. Welcome to the new world of the postmodern capitalist corporation.